Here I am in lesson five, metabolic reactions, chemical reactions in the mouth. Um, we're going to prepare four tubes for the investigation. So I'm going to label my tubes A, B, C, and D. I'm going to put them all off to the side. I'm going to start with tube A. In tube A, I'm going to add my food sample. In this case, it's the crackers. So I'm going to use my pipette. I'm going to suck up some of the food. Fill it up to 0.5 milliliters. Then I'm going to take my distilled water, which is in a small cup. I'm going to add 0.5 milliliters or five drops. And then I'm going to add five drops of iodine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cap the tube. For B, I'm going to follow a very similar procedure. I'm going to take the food, add 0.5 milliliters of food. This time, the second thing, instead of adding water, I'm going to add the amylase solution. One, two, three, four, five, up to five milliliters. I'm going to add my five drops, or 5.5 milliliters of iodine. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to mix. Next, I'm going to follow a similar procedure for tube C. For tube C, I'm going to start by adding, I've got a chunk of food stuck on the end of my pipette, so I'm trying to get that off to get some of the, there we go, the smaller food pieces. I'm going to add 0.5 milliliters of our food, which is crackers. Then, this time, I'm going to add 0.5 milliliters of Benedict's. One, two, three, four, five, up to the 1.0. And now, I'm going to add, make sure I also add water. One, two, three, four, five. So this tube, tube C, has rice, then water, then Benedict's. And I'm going to mix it, and I'm going to put this one off to the side in a coffee cup. My last tube, tube D, I'm going to start by adding my food sample, which again is cracker. I'm going to add it to the tube. Next, I'm going to add, this time instead of water, I'm going to add amylase. Let me know. Then I'm going to add my five drops or point five milliliters of Benedict's. And since this has Benedict's in it, we need to heat it up. So I'm going to take near boiling water from a tea kettle or from an electric water heater or a hot plate, and I'm going to pour it in on top of my tubes. Let that sit for five to ten minutes. After five to 10 minutes, when you pull out the tubes from the cup, you'll see that tube C is blue and that tube D should have a bright orange or red color.